Hello, and welcome back to our introduction to programming and problem solving series. This particular lecture video will be looking at the concept of classes in object oriented programming. Now, what is a class? A class is a template or a blueprint of objects, attributes, and methods. An object could be defined as an instance of a class. A method could be described as the behavior of an object. An attribute could be described as um, uh, representing the state of an object. Okay, so um, let's look at these examples that we have here. So um, a person as a class, okay, has uh, what we call um, attributes. Okay, attributes here um, could be the name, your age, your color, the occupation. And then the methods or what we call uh, functionality could be um, walking, eating, sleeping, even working. Okay, so an object is a class. It has the following. It has attributes and it has what we call the methods or the functions. Okay. So an object here becomes an instance of a person. Okay. So we could have a person called Joe. Okay. And Joe as a person has attributes, functionality. Uh, all this uh, basically uh, based on the blueprint of what a person classes. Let's get on another example here. Um, a car as a class, okay? A car as a class is what? A blueprint, okay? And they are objects. Objects are what we call instances of the class. So we can have Camry, can have, um, um, let's say, pens, can have die, under, okay? So all of them become, uh, or become what we call um, the objects. Object here being an instance of the class. So the main class is called cars. And then under cars, we have what we call objects. The objects here are the instances of the particular class. So every object has what we call attributes. It could be the car color. Um, how is it a four-wheel drive? Is it a three-wheel drive? And the lighting system inside the seats. All of this contribute to what we call the attributes. And then the methods or the functionalities are what the car does. Okay, so you have um, the car moving, movement, form, all this are going to add up to what we call the functionality or the methods of that object. So another instance here could be, uh, let's say you have Hyundai here. So the Hyundai is an instance or is an object, okay, of the class. The class is what car. So the bigger picture is car. Then on the car, we have types of car. And then what? The types of car here represents is what we call the objects. So an instance of the car. So we have, let's say, um, a Hyundai or a Burns here, um, which could have, uh, let's say, a color. Okay. The color of the Burns, uh, the logo. Logo. Uh, other steps. Okay. Other steps. And then we have the methods. The methods or the functionality are what it can do. So every car can work. It can move. Every car can horn. Every car can have stuff spat inside. So that is what we mean by classes, objects, methods, and attributes. Let's look at this example. So animal, the term animal could be defined or could be uh, termed as the class. Okay. Then we have instances of animals. That is objects of animals. So objects of the animal class. We said that an object is an instance of a class. So an instance of animals could be, you have the um, giraffe, you have the deer, you have lion, you have bears, you can have dogs, elephants, any other animal can be deemed as an instance or an object of the animal class. And then all these animals are going to have what we call attributes. Attributes, what uh, uh, helps us uh, distinguish them from each other. So we could say that a giraffe, okay, has a very long neck, which is an attribute of giraffes. Okay. We could say uh, the elephant has a very long nose okay it's, it's very big we see the lion it has fur around the head so all these stuff add up to what we call um attributes of the class and then we could have the functionalities okay the lion roaring the dog barks all the others okay so that is it for uh, classes and then objects methods and attributes for object oriented programming so let's look at it. I think I have another example here. So there's a class called personal or people. Okay. So the class has what we call attributes. The attributes are their names, their age, and then their gender. And then it has what we call methods of functionalities. 
So every person or every human eats, sleeps, and then works. So here we can have instances of the class. So the class is what people. An instance of the class could be a person called Bob. Okay, so Bob is an instance of the class people. And then Bob has attributes like um, name, age, gender. Bob is a human as such. Um, he's going to have a methods of functionalities like eating, sleeping, and working. You could also have um, another instance of the variable called Jesse. Jesse um, has what we call the age as an attribute, the name as an attribute, and then the gender being female. Those are attributes of the class um, people. So Jesse is an object. Okay. So sorry, Jesse is an object of the class people. And then the object has the following attribute. And then uh, we also, he also has uh, methods. Okay. That is functionality. So um, Jesse can eat, can sleep. And work. Okay, so that is it for classes or the concept of classes and the object oriented programming languages. Thank you.